1MDB has sparked embezzlement and money laundering investigations across One of the biggest countries. corruption scandals the world has ever seen. What may be the biggest financial scam in the history. Of corrupt 1MDB officials treated this public trust as a personal bank account. Follow us as we bring you into the courtroom where the biggest financial scandal in Malaysian history is being heard. By the Malaysian Insight, this is the Najib Razak 1MDB trial, and I'm Patrick Teo. Najib Razak was back in court again today after getting a week off last week due to a second bout of conjunctivitis. His lawyer Shafi Abdullah had told Judge Colin Sakara that his client had caught the pink eye again after spending too much time outdoors where the air was bad. The former Prime Minister seemed to have made a full recovery over the weekend, attending an event in Semenye, a town about 40 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur, and keeping his social media active. And he looked in the pink of health today, smiling warmly as he greeted supporters upon arrival at the Kuala Lumpur court. Today was the seventh day of Najib's 1MDB trial. Amhari was back on the stand and Shafi began by trying to paint a picture that Sultan Mizan Zainal Abidin was behind the formation of the Trangano Investment Authority, which is 1MDB's precursor. Sultan Mizan is the Sultan of Trangano and was also the Agung or the King of Malaysia at the time. Amhari agreed that the Sultan was behind TIA's formation, but, he said, he was under the impression that TIA was Najib's baby, meaning to say it was important to Najib and he wanted to grow it. Lawyer Shafi pulled out cabinet meeting minutes from 2009 and 2008. The meetings were chaired by Abdullah Ahmad Badawi, who was Prime Minister at the time. Najib was his deputy and also Minister of Finance. In one of those meetings, an announcement was made. It was the proposal to form TIA with 10 billion ringgit. Part of the funding was to come from bond issuance and future revenue of Tranganu's oil. The Sultan had proposed TIA and Joe Lowe had drafted the proposal. Shafi put the formation of TIA squarely on the Sultan and Najib had nothing to do with it. Amhari disagreed. After a lunch break, Shafi brought out a document dated May 4, 2009. It was addressed to Najib, the finance minister, from TIA CEO Sharo Ibrahim Halmi. The letter bore some big names, such as Sheikh Mohammed Sabah Al Salim, who was Kuwait's deputy prime minister, and Bernard Arnold, who is chairman and CEO of LVMH Moy Hennessy, the French designer label home to Louis Vuitton. These men, the letter said, would back the TIA project, which would be chaired by the Agong himself. Shafi brought up some other bigwigs which, according to TIA's proposal, would be involved in the project. They were Queen Rania al-Abdullah of Jordan and, wait for it, Bono of the Irish rock band U2. Sound incredulous? Well, the federal government at the time didn't seem to think so. In fact, it took the proposal seriously and backed TIA with a guarantee. But in the end, the state of Trangano decided to pull out of the deal. This was because bonds were issued to raise funds without the state's permission, and this was in conflict with TIA's terms of agreement. Shafi detailed this to court while referring to the minutes of a meeting dated May 22, 2009. Amhari said he didn't know much about this, not in great detail anyway. The lawyer presented minutes from a June 2009 meeting which recorded how, after the Trungano state pulled out of TIA, the federal government was forced to stay on. Rescinding the government guarantee would have spooked investors. But the federal government was reluctant to stay, wouldn't you say? Shafi asked the witness. Based on the minutes, yes, Amhari replied. And with that, the court adjourned. The trial will continue tomorrow morning. 
This podcast was brought to you by the Malaysian Insight. The team behind the Najib Razak 1MDB podcast are Revati Supramaniam, Yapik Kwan, Yvonne Lim, and Ravin Palanisami. Timothy Acharyam and Beat Hong provided additional reporting. I'm Patrick Teo.